what going on? It's Spotlight for you. I just jumped out the port with Dirty Glove Best. Hey, serving got my hands hot. Kitchen sending and dropping head it, but you ran that. Free game rubber band popping. Alright, so we got Spotlight Few off the porch with us today. Yes, sir, man. Few game spot shit. What's happening? Yeah, how you feeling today, bro? Man, I'm feeling good. I'm here. I'm blessed. Let's get it. I feel that bad. I saw you uh, just out in Puerto Rico, too, huh? Hey, yeah, man. Kicking it. Family shit. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, what were the vibes like Island, there? island vibes. Yeah. Nigga came back black as fuck. <laughs> Skin peeling in some more shit. That shit was hard, though. I like that. I like I like that vibe. That island vibe. I can live on the island. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's always good to get outside the city, man, and catch some of those different vibes, man. Hey yeah, that shit was too hard. Yeah. All right, so you're originally from Atlanta, right? I'm from Decatur. Decatur. Okay. Yeah, I'm from Decatur. I done stayed in the same down there, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Decatur though. Fuck that. I'm from Decatur. I got you. Straight up. So what was your childhood like growing up there? What were you into? <sighs> shit. Normal shit, <sighs> trying to goddamn make it, trying to make something out of myself, you know what I'm saying? While being suppressed by the shit around me, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it's it opportunity, it opportunity everywhere, and you got you got opportunity to do good shit, you got opportunity to do bad, you got opportunity to do whatever you want to do, you feel me? So it really, like, where your mind at, like, where you, what you focus on, like, what you want to get out of this shit. Cause it's gonna be in your face. All this shit gonna be in your face. The money, the bitches, the music, the guns, all this shit gonna be in your face. Like coming up, coming up where I'm from. It's all gonna be in your face, but you gotta chew that shit. Like chew what you chew what path you want to. Some nigga shit. You just gotta chew what you, you gotta do you, basically. You just gotta do you. Yeah. Nah, that's so true right there. Hey yeah. At what age would you say you jumped off the porch then? <sighs> uh you talking about as far as just Fucking around is in like street shit, like yeah, just you know, know, getting out there, seeing like, life for I yourself. I probably say I was like fourteen, probably thirteen, fourteen years old. Yeah, yeah, curious in here, just want to know what's going on. Yeah, did you have any uh, big homies out there, older siblings, anyone to kind of show you around at that time? Or Man, you I ain't, I ain't really know. I ain't had no big homie, but I always had. You know what I'm saying? My uncle, I got them. them it's like. That's really how I came, the, the, the few game came about, you know what I'm saying? Hanging around my uncle crowd, the older, you know what I'm saying? The older cats, just fucking with them. Now, I ain't saying older like 10, 20 years old, I'm saying these niggas like five, six years older than me. So I'm, I'm just a little smaller, you feel me? But I'm soaking up everything, so hell yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Would you say the streets have changed much since when you were first coming up until today? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, shit ain't near the same. In what ways has it changed? Shit, it would change when I was coming up. Like I was part of the change. You feel me? See now, the the, the niggas, the young the young cats that coming up, they, they part of the change. Like this shit, it's it's a whole nother it's a whole nother ball game. You know what I'm saying? Niggas sit at home on their ad behind the behind the phone and be who they want to be. Back then, I couldn't like nigga had to be out. You got to be outside. Them folks got to be able to put a, a, a face with your name. You know what I'm saying? They gotta be able to say, oh no, nah, that's shouted. I know him from Woot Woot or Woot Woot doing this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? These days, it's so easy to fabricate that shit. Like, it's too easy to fabricate that shit. You could be from, it don't matter where the hell you from, it don't matter if you just came home from a nine to five, whatever, Woot Woot, you can say whatever you wanna say, put on, dress up. You know what I'm saying? Put that shit on how you wanna put it on and say what you wanna say. And motherfucker believe your ass, bro, until they, until, until they find out. You know what I'm saying? Until you lead them to, until you slip up, you know what I'm saying? If you want that type of timing, but if you being original, just being yourself, then shit, that shit just, that shit cakewalk. Just like this. Absolutely, yeah, social media definitely did yeah. switch it up, man. For sure. What would you say has been one of the biggest life lessons you had to learn in your life so far? <sighs> my biggest life lesson? Mind my goddamn business. Mind my fucking business. Shit, everything ain't got nothing, like everything that go on don't, don't pertain to me. Like every, like some shit going on and it ain't got nothing to directly do with me. Like, what I'm gonna in include myself on that shit for? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it's a lot of shit that, it's a lot of shit that, that goes on 
But a nigga, he gonna feel like he gotta put himself, you know what I'm saying? Like my family, my money and shit, but I'm involved. All, I'm involved, you know what I'm saying? But like, petty shit, like, argue a little bit, like, you know what I'm saying? Misunderstandings, like you get into it with your homeboy. This your homeboy, you get into it with your homeboy. And now you come on like, shit, we gonna, let go kill that nigga. He did this to me, he fucked my girl. Woo, woo. Like, bro, I don't respect that type of shit, bro. I can't respect that type of shit, bro. That's your business. That ain't got nothing to do with me, homie. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, well, if I go fuck, I fuck up what I got going on, go do it to doing some shit, you, you know what I'm saying? Follow behind this shit you talking about. Man, I can't get nowhere. And then nine times out of 10, you ain't got nothing on that to, to help me out the situation. You gonna bring me to the shit and back out. I'm gonna go through with it. I'm like, damn, this nigga, I done fucking did more than this nigga on your own shit, you feel me? I was mind my own fucking business, man. Get my own paper, keep my eyes on my own paper, man. Mind my business, you feel me? Shit that tends to me. Figure I ain't spot, that's it. Yeah, nah, that's a valuable life lesson. For right sure that. Cause you'll Show be crashing that. out behind someone else. About nothing, about nothing. Ain't even, they don't, sometimes they don't even know why. They can't even tell you why. Real shit. All right, so going to the music, when did you first start rapping? When I first started rapping? Like, when I first started taking rapping serious or like the first time I ever made a song type shit? Yeah, your first song. Uh, see, I used, to, I used to be, I used to be, People around me who rap, like rap for real, for real. Like growing up, I, I used to be in, I might go in there, they might use, bro, go ahead and rap, bro. I used to all, everybody sit around freestyling and shit, you know what I'm saying? Just kicking one, two, but when you got flavor, you got flavor, you know what I'm saying? When you got flavor, you got flavor. So the, the, the people who were rapping started feeling like shit, bro, rap, rap. Man, matter of fact, get what? I tell you this, I probably was like 12, I used to be like limb 12. Around that age, I used to be riding and call my dad rapping the whole radio. Whatever come on the radio, I'm rapping that shit. Rapping that shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to tell me, like, bro, why the fuck you keep rapping all these niggas songs, bro? Rap your own shit. Why you don't just make your own shit? You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't never really even, I ain't even really think about that shit until I got older for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, why the fuck am I rapping all these niggas shit? I got, I, I got my own shit to say. You feel what I'm saying? So. But I probably would probably like, I probably say like around that age though, like 15, 15, 16, I probably made my first song. I okay. ain't take that shit serious though. I went, you know what I'm saying? I really went, I really went. I didn't see myself as coming doing music, you know what I'm saying? Even though I had like my mama brother, my old my oldest uncle, long, long live my uncle Tal, you know what I'm saying? He was doing music. He was doing all kind of music. Like he got a real band, all that. Like he got a real band called what is it, the Burning Bush? You know what I'm saying? So he had he had the I was I was I had the music shit around me all my life. Like my grandma, like long live my nana. Like she keep the radio on all day and all night. You sleep, you gonna hear the sweet, the um, quiet storm shit. Like that type of shit. So I was always fucking with. I was always in the music environment, but. I was still about 16 and shit. That one I probably made my first. I can't even remember the, who I made my first song with. I swear I can't remember who I made my first song with. Yeah. So when did you start to take it serious and what motivated you to die? Man. When nigga got around, when, they, when, when we started the spot shit, we started the spot shit probably like, what, 2014, 13? Something like that, 2013, 2014. And that when my boy Dirt, he had just came back, he just came home from doing the bid, whatever. So him, I don't know, they put the shit together, they put the spot shit together, you know what I'm saying? Banks, Faye, Faye, all them niggas, they put that shit, they put, they put that shit together. Faye and Dirt, but them niggas, Faye was going to get Dirt down there every time the boy would come from the highway, take him to the studio, straight to the studio, you know what I'm saying? We in the studio with all, all the um, up and coming rappers at that time, Bank Road Fresh. You know what I'm saying? That's how we locked in with Fred like this, you know what I'm saying? Long live my nigga Fred, you know what I'm saying? So that's when got down, so that's when that shit came about. So we used to be, we, we had the spot in the studio, and we had the studio in the spot, you know what I'm saying? So that's how that's how the spotlight shit came about. We had we put the studio in the spot, you know what I'm saying? And dealt with that.
That was that. I used to be the one recording niggas. Like, oh, you was the engineer, yeah? Yeah, no cap, man. It probably we come from the club, man. Probably come from the club, man. Banks might be, we might come from the club. Me and Banks might be up, man. I might, Shout might be like, man, show me how to, you know what I'm saying? Cause I be, I'm, I'm smart here. I pay attention. I see a nigga do some shit like, ooh, all right, boom, that what you doing? And I'ma ask the question like, oh, you do that? Woo, 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 woo. All right, cool, I got it. You know what I'm saying? So it took me a little minute to, to figure the little shit out though, but I started fucking with it. So that's how it was, it was like that. So boom, now I got them. I'm, I'm in this shit all the way now. I done got them, got good. <laughs> now they using me, not using me, but they like shit. Go ahead and got them. You know what I'm saying? That, that crank up. So shit, they're like that, and I started getting my ass in that motherfucker. Like, yeah, I started getting up, so that shit just popped off. Yeah. Yeah. What's been some of the your biggest obstacles breaking into the music industry? Um bigger obstacles. Man, I feel like me personally, my biggest obstacle, like my biggest thing with the music is, I feel like I don't, like I feel like I don't put out enough music. Like I got music, I got buku music, but I don't put out enough music, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's to the point, like now I'm finna, I'm just, I been dropping shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Putting that shit together, but that been, that what I been working on more in the past, like now. Like putting that shit out, drop putting that shit out, putting that shit out, putting that shit out. Video, putting videos out, just staying active. You know what I'm saying? Cause you gotta stay active. Yeah, you gotta be consistent yeah, with it. For sure, consistency, yeah. consistency. Especially these days with so many different. I be rappers busy doing other up. shit too now. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't just not rapping, not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like you probably don't even. It's, it's so many people know me. But they probably can't even tell you. Like I know him from a song, or like they're gonna say I know him from being somewhere, doing or seeing, you know what I'm saying? My real shit in the city of Atlanta. Yeah. To show that. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so, what's your thoughts on the music industry right now and everything that's going on? Gold mine. Gold mine, for sure. Better get your ass in. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna say. All right. I feel like nigga, like if you feel like you believe in yourself, bro. It's it's a check for you. You believe in yourself, or it's a check for you for sure. Like, straight Absolutely. up. Yeah. What's the single that you're pushing right now? The single that I'm pushing right now. I'm pushing. Um. I got a single by D Hill, Swag Too Hard. So that's what I've been pushing. Okay. Lately, yeah. I ain't gonna cap, bro. Them folk, like. They be giving me feedback on some of my music. That shit be just, but I want, you should do that one, bro. You, should you do don't know which one to push, yeah. I'm like, man, I'm just gonna keep doing music, putting that shit out, you know what I'm saying? Just keep putting that shit out, keep doing music, keep putting it out. Yeah. Get I, caught up on that. I be got there, sitting around forever trying to decide. I like all my shit. Yeah. Uh, what was it like going out to Colorado to shoot the video for Go Yard? That shit was lit. It was my birthday. Okay. Yeah, it was my birthday, so that shit was big. I already knew I was gonna do that. <laughs> I knew I was gonna do that. That shit was too hard. Yeah. We went out there. Um, we was in Breaking Ridge. That shit was cold as fuck. Yeah, that shit looked like you was in a blizzard. That shit was cold as hell, man. I had Montclair sink. I go out there, man, Montclair sink. Yeah. Sink. They were the only type, they were the only, I feel like, they were the only thing that would goddamn make me feel good out there, motherfucker. It's so cold. <laughs> At least I be fresh, flaky. Nah, for real. <laughs> what can you tell us about the song Still Remain? I saw you dropped the video for this recently. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still Remain, that, that probably, I'll go again. Like, that's, 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 that's probably one of my favorite songs. Like, one on, that's in the top. I go against the world for I go against the grain. You know what I'm saying? I thought the pain killer part to take away the pain. You feel me? Like that shit, I fuck with that shit too hard. But still remain this. Like that's a song like you gonna hear that shit and this shit gonna just you gonna fuck with it regardless, cause it just you just divide. You know what I'm saying? Divide. 
Like nigga tell you, I go I go against the world before I go against the grain. Like gotta be loyal, you feel me? Mm -hmm. like, I stand on what I stand on. That that. I feel that man. And what about temper? I fucked with that song too. Yeah, temper. I fought with temper. That video was hard to hear. That video was hard to fought. A lot I got a lot of people like that video. Um Temper really an old song though. Oh yeah. Dead ass. Yeah. I put that motherfucker on um, Cousin Few Game too. Yeah. yeah. That was the last project you dropped, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me and Cuzzo. Cuzzo like my goddamn brother. Fuck Cuzzo. Yeah. We got we the first my first project was Cuzzo. Mm -hmm. Me and Cuzzo. Yeah, yeah. Cousin Few Game. See, a lot of people don't even know why the hell it's called Cousin Few Game. Like. I asked, like, why the hell? She don't know. I thought you was a crew. Like, man. <laughs> I fuck with, I ain't saying, I ain't, I don't game bang, bro. I fuck with everybody. I fuck with outside side though. But I say that goddamn cousin, his name is Dane Cuzzo. You know what I'm saying? My name Few Game. So it was only right with you. It was only made sense. Cousin Few Game, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. I feel that, bro. That shit just fit. Like, that shit just go. That shit just fit. That shit just go together. Yeah, so that shit just together. It's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> More of that shit on the way. Look for it. You better believe it. Every September. Hey, and get what another thing. Boy, I dropped I dropped my first tape on my daughter's birthday. You feel me? Yeah, I dropped it on her birthday. What day is her birthday? September 12th. Okay. So every 12th, expect it. Yeah, if he, you know how that shit be sometimes. Corona fought the last time with the, you know what I'm saying? But you know how that shit be, so still be on nigga timing, so. But September week 12, you know that shit is, yeah, CP song. Cousin, <laughs> CPG song. For sure. Shots out DK, man. Yeah. So. So what's the next project here you working on right now that you plan to drop? Uh, right now, I'm finna, see, right now, I'm working on a spot tape, like, right now. Okay. Yeah, we finna drop a tape, like, the top of the, the top of Ju July, straight up. Yeah, we're going straight. Like they gonna hit, they gonna. I ain't even, I ain't even gonna ruin it. We just got, we got big surprise for y'all, for everybody. This shit gonna be big. Yeah, going up. Spotlight movement, the third one. We ain't, I ain't gonna tell you the name yet. <laughs> just know it's all the way. Yeah, what's the studio sessions be like with all you guys? Lady. man, Liddy, man, we be had, we we too much chemistry. We been doing this shit so. It's lit, bro. We we lit. We on we on what we on. We doing what we doing. You know what I'm saying? And we kicking the one we kick. Everybody like we gonna have different vibes. You gonna have a different vibe from 32. You gonna have a different vibe a different vibe from Fugue. You gonna have a different vibe from Dirt. Different vibe from Banks. You know what I'm saying? Different vibe from Three. You know what I'm saying? All this shit just is vibes, man. Vibes on vibe. Vibes on vibe. It's all spot shit, yeah. but. You know what I'm saying? We got vibes on vibes. All right, so who's some of the producers you guys been working with? Man, I got to say Cuzzo. You already know that I've been working with Dan Cuzzo. I've been working, we been working with um, D Hill. Uh, we got shit with Loaded. We got shit on Mexico Drill shit. I got shit with Evil G. We got Evil G shit. We got stupid beat shit. You know what I'm saying? We got retro beat shit. We got all kind of shit, man. We got, we got all shit. Cashy J shit, all that shit. Ain't too many independents, guys. I'm trying, I'm trying to lock in with producer though. Yeah. Like I be trying, I be trying to find these niggas. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to lock in. Yeah. What's the next video or single you guys plan to drop? Lord, please. Lord, please, no brainer. Lord, please, man. Let a nigga spot stay rolling. And all that. <laughs> that Lord, please, motherfucker, gonna be too hard. That shit gonna be so hard. What type of vibe is it on? Man. Lord, please. Turk. Okay. Pre, like, <laughs> straight up. <laughs> we on the bullshit. We on the straight bullshit. Lord, please let a nigga trap stay rolling. I know my boy Yak gonna come out on the bullshit. Like, straight bullshit. We on the bullshit. We on the bullshit right now. Spot is on the fuck shit. I'm telling you. I ain't even gonna tell you no lie. We on the bullshit. We putting all this shit around. Every angle we working. Man, back to back shit. Yeah. 
They said, yeah, we doing a hunt right now on, on some shit on dirt video right now featuring all this. Play mm -hmm. while you hang. That hate. shit was hard. Too, yeah. That video was a week. Dope. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Back to back shit. We coming back to back in the book. What else you working on right now? You got a solo project on the way? Yeah, I'm working on I'm working on the project right now. I'm still work on I'm, the, um me and Cuzzle shit. We already working on that shit. That shit already um you feel me? I got I got Few Jack City on the way. Okay. Yeah, for sure. They've been waiting on that shit for the longest time. I had to make sure everything, you know what I'm saying? I'm locking that shit up right now. We're yeah. doing what we doing. Yeah. I got I be dropping I be dropping shit on YouTube. So y'all ain't got Subscribe my YouTube, man. Spotlight you, man. Go subscribe my shit, man. Fuck with the videos, lit every time. So, yeah, that's what we doing. Would you say this is the most focus you've been on the music so far? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Cause, but it, it ain't it ain't, it ain't hard at all. But that shit ain't just. But that shit take like you got to be at that shit. Like you can't just be. Oh, I'm a rapper. I'm finna rap. I'm finna rap right now. I'm finna rap right now, and I'm finna chill. Oh, now I'm finna rap again. Like, hell no. Nah. You gotta got them stay at it. You know what I'm saying? Got to stay at it. Yeah. Got to stay at it, man. So, hey, another thing I wanna say, man, today is Juneteenth, too, on 19th. You know what I'm saying? Got to stay, man. Shot, shot to Juneteenth, man. You know what I'm saying? Power to my people, all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't even gonna select that slide. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking my shit. So I'm saying, like my shit, these my lyrics. Everybody born to die in this world. Some people be dying to live. You know what I'm saying? They came from, they came from, um, cause if you ain't the first one, boss up, turn up. Yeah. 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 I That's went a that way. Statement right there. Yeah. Yeah. I went that way. Yeah. Not too many being on vacation. You know what I'm saying? That shit, course, all that shit, real life shit. Yeah. What has being a father taught you about life? Man, that shit saved me. Shit saved me, bro, cause like ain't just me. Like I got when I wake up and think I'm like, but ain't just me. I got down. I gotta make sure shit straight. I gotta make sure everything's straight. Not for today, but for you know what I'm saying. Gotta make sure this shit straight. So everything that I do reflect. That shit reflect. That shit reflect on me, bam. If I go out here and do some stupid shit, and I can't be there to, you know what I'm saying, be there for shouting. Be for, for for DK then it's like, who gonna do this shit? Hell no, nah, I can't go out like that. Yeah. Like that shit, hell no. Nah. That shit touchy even thinking about that shit, you feel me? Like, that shit touchy. It make me wanna eat some goddamn chicken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't near going that way, we eat, you feel me? We ain't near doing that. Yeah. All right, few before we wrap it up, you got any shout outs you want to give to your peoples, man? Hell yeah. Damn. Shot, shot, spot. Shot, shot, dirty girl, bastard for sure. You know what I'm saying? Man, shot, shot to my hood. The whole, the whole, the whole east side. You know what I'm saying? I ain't need the whole east side. I fuck with the whole east side. I ain't that. All right, shot, shot, I'm by B Green, Vietnam. You know what I'm saying? You know, everything. Everything in the family, I fuck with them. I fuck with the family. I fuck with niggas. I fuck with everybody. Know who I fuck with? You know what I'm saying? I ain't sit hand screaming everybody name though, but I fuck with the gang. Shouts out the wildlife. You know what I'm saying? The family, the DFO, for sure. We lock all that shit. All right, it's up with that. Hey, serving got my hands hot. Kitchen sending and dropping headed, but you ran that. Free game rubber band popping. Hey, big bang, I got cash.